We are underway from Sylvan Beach and this is Lake Oneida. Lake Oneida is a fairly shallow lake. Right now we're showing about 33 and I don't think it gets much deeper than that. But a beautiful day as far as crossing the lake goes. Later on today there's going to be some rain so we're electing to go across the lake early this morning and get into Winter Harbor, get hunkered down and start getting the boat ready for uh, its winter nap. Erie Canal from here on out will be lot 23 for us. That is one going down and also the Oswego Canal which are locks one through eight with the exception of four there is no four so there'll be seven locks on the Oswego. Doing about 19 and a half miles per hour going across Lake Oneida. I've seen depths up to uh, about 60 65 feet. Smooth out there today. We are finishing the last nine miles crossing Lake Oneida. Have the here's to us up on plane about 2300 RPM doing close to 20 miles per hour. Gonna get in there before it starts raining. We have about a day and a half work until we hand it over to the technicians and it will be on inside winter storage at Winter Harbor. Top of the list will be a bottom job. So continue to subscribe. Also, if you're not on our newsletter list, go to whatyouhavetodo.com. Hit sign me up, we'll send you a couple of uh, free goodies. We are at the western end of Lake Oneida and coming up on bridge E63A. And that is Highway 81. Still got about a mile and a half to go to Winter Harbor where we will dock on our starboard side near the fuel dock. And we will give them a call on channel 16. I've already talked to them on the phone. How far away are we? We are about a mile and a half. Oh, so how long does that take? Oh, about uh, probably 10 minutes. Okay. Another great yard to go to. They don't have inside storage, but they'll store your boat outside and uh, also qualified mechanics. There is SK Yards, where we stopped on our second loop. Okay. Rev is out on the starboard side. You can kind of see her getting ready out there. Had uh, 17 feet of depth in here. All right, all fenders and lines are out. And I see, do you feel like it's a little rain, a little spritz out there? A little spritz, so we're getting in just before it rains there on Rev. SK yards there and that way I'll we'll know where we're at. Oh, just a half mile from SK yards. Of course, you know it's going to be on the right. Rev and I have been into this marina before and uh, it was on our first loop. Came in here, we came across Lake Oneida in marginal weather because we had a steering problem. We did not want to stay at uh, Sylvan Beach and have a fluid leak out, so we thought it was best to get across before the weather got too bad. The next couple days were going to be bad, so we uh, made it into a place where we could have some work done on her. And as it worked out, is we were able to uh, assess the problem and get it fixed ourselves. So you will balance those types of decisions on your loop or your boating as well. If you got something mechanical going on and trying to figure out what to do with it. Now I can start to see uh, Winter Harbor up there, big boats. Well, they'll put uh, 70, 75 footers in there, and maybe even longer than that. We'll have to see what the, the biggest boat they can take in there. But, be nice to have the here's to us inside for the winter. Winter Harbor, Winter Harbor motor vessel, here's to us. Vessel calling 
Roger, however, switch and answer zero 09, please, zero 09. Switching. Winter Harbor, motor vessel, here's to us, channel 9. Roger, so um, you want me to send Tim out, give me a hand on the end of that deck? Uh, I think we could handle it, but uh, yeah, so that we get in the right place, that would be great. Okay, I'll send them out in a second. Thank you. I wonder how we guys back up the 16 and standing back. Channel 9 and Channel 16 for motor vessel here as well. Alright, we are manual steering in here, so I guess we'll be looking out for somebody. Perhaps ask me how I feel about parallel parking. happened September 2022, which was the end of our boating season before we put the Here's to Us into winter storage. Now there's a lot to do to get the boat ready for winter storage and so we'll share that with you as well as some of the repairs that we had done and some exciting new content. So see you next time on What Got to Do.